great. That is bloody fantastic. That's all I need. You'd assume, right? So today I'm gonna be reviewing a celebrity skincare brand that came out last year. And I've been using it for a few weeks now and I thought I'd take my time to test it just to make sure I have a good, full, comprehensive review of the products. So today we are talking about Pharrell skincare brand. It's called Human Race. As we all know, Pharrell has vampire skin. He ages backwards. The man has looked the same for the longest. So I was curious. I thought, let's find out his secrets. Let's find out how he achieves this youthful glow. Anyway, if you'd like to keep hearing my thoughts, keep watching and let me know what you think down below in the comments. Okay, let's get into it. What did I buy? So I bought the package of the three products, which is the three minute facial. So it comes in a box like this. This is a little card that shows you what's in it, the three minute facial. And it also shows you on the back, the refills that you can get and how to put them in. And the products that are in here are the cleanser. So this is the rice powder cleanser. This is the Lotus Enzyme Exfoliator, and this is the Humidifying Cream. So I bought this as a set, but you can buy them all separately. So I did a little research for you and got the prices so you don't have to go and check. Um, so the Rice Powder Cleanser is $32 which is this one, so that's $32, and in pounds, that was 23 pounds. The Lotus Enzyme Exfoliator is $46, and that is 33 pounds, and the Humidifying Cream is $48, which is 35 pounds. This is 62 mils, a bit weird. Um, the Rice Powder Cleanser is 40 grams, and the exfoliator is 71 mils. I can't cope with the non whole numbers, that stresses me out. If you buy it all together, it's $100, which ends up being 73 pounds. However, when you buy it, you can only buy it from the Human Race website, and that's in the US, so then you then have to pay taxes and shipping, which ended up being quite expensive. Um, so yeah, I would say in the end, it ended up being more than what I'd spend on average on these types of products. Otherwise, they kind of amount to be the same as, you know, the normal ranges of products that I'd use. So between the 20s to 30s for things like um, moisturizer and exfoliator cleanser, you're pushing it a little. It's a little expensive for cleanser. So human race skincare as a brand, I found I love the brand's message. They have some amazing pros, but also some cons about their brand. Personally, I think it's great that Pharrell is making a massive effort to do sort of gender neutral skincare because I know a lot of men shy away from skincare because they think it's very feminine or, you know, they don't know what to use. So he's simplifying it. I also really like that the packaging is planet friendly. The packaging itself is 50% recycled materials and also you can get refills for each product. So you can literally take this bit out and pop a refill in. So you're not wasting plastic that way. They are also cruelty free, which is great. So let's get into the cons. So as a brand, I think they are pushing very hard for the whole clean beauty aspect of things. And I know that's a massive trend now, but I feel like there are different ways to do this. They have chosen to go down the route of fear mongering, which is what, I really don't like. I really, really cannot stand when brands use their marketing in terms of this is what we don't use. It doesn't include silicones or sulfates, doesn't include parabens, all these things that they're forcing you to think, okay, we don't use them, so we must be clean. They could do the opposite. And I think what they really should focus on is the good ingredients that are actually in the products and market that more, educating people more about what each ingredient does, instead of making it seem like we're great because we don't use things that would be considered dirty. So I think that's a big thing that they could maybe work on and shift because people are starting to realize that that's not the way to go. Um, and they are starting to realize that clean beauty is such a fad where people are using things like 
gluten-free, which is something that they've put in their marketing. Gluten-free, I'm not eating it. I don't understand that. So in the rice cleanser, they've explained what they use to make it that powder, but they've put that they don't use rocks, which, name me someone who does. I don't understand that. I mean, <laughs> they're trying to say that you're not like scrubbing your face because you're not using anything with like harsh particles in it, but don't say that you don't have rocks in it. I also just feel that from looking at their website and looking at their social media, they are very focused on well-being, but there needs to be more of a connect between the skincare products and the message. So the message is great. They're saying, you know, focus on you, focus on your well-being, um, and all sort of quotes from Pharrell, which is lovely, but it seems to have a real disconnect from the product. So we need to see why is it that using your exfoliator is going to help me with my well-being? Do you know what I mean? Like you need to connect that more and I just don't feel that that's there yet. Okay, so in terms of the range of products, I have some issues. If I was anyone who didn't really know about skincare and this is being marketed to me as a three minute facial and it's also saying that this is all you need, this is your whole routine in three steps. It's a three step routine, nice and easy, morning and evening. I'd be like, great, that is bloody fantastic. That's all I need. So I'd be like, okay, I'm just gonna buy all three and that's what I'll use. You'd assume, right? Now, a basic skincare routine for daytime should include SPF. This does not include SPF. Humidifying cream does not have SPF in it. It's just a moisturizer, which is great. You can use it morning and evening, but nobody is saying that follow this up with an SPF. Nowhere on the instructions does it say, follow this up with an SPF in the daytime. That wouldn't be as bad. I mean, you'd hope that people would know, but most people don't know that you should be wearing sunscreen every single day. However, it, it's made worse by the fact that the two products you're using just before this are exfoliators. So you are basically leaving your skin vulnerable to sun damage and then not protecting it. That bothers me a lot. And also what bothers me is the fact that the cleanser, the rice powder cleanser, so it also has fruit AHAs in it, which means it's exfoliating. The powder itself is a powder, so it's micro exfoliation it is exfoliating the surface of your skin and the fruit ahas are also doing that even more then you are following it up with your lotus enzyme exfoliator it does say use this two to three times a week but using this after using this twice a day i don't think you even need this and this has got eight percent glycolic acid and two percent fruit ahas this is quite hardcore exfoliation. So you're basically just stripping your skin and then not protecting it. Okay, so moving on to my review of how I got on with the products. So to start with the cleanser. So I started using the rice powder cleanser and the way this works is you open this, it has a boo and out of the nipple, you get some rice powder. So you just tip it out like this and it's powder like that. So you get more than that. You put more than that into your hand and then the instructions say to mix it with some water until it forms a paste and then you massage it over your face in circles and then you wash it off. Now, this is very similar to the daily micro exfoliant from Dermalogica. People love that product. That is a great product. There are other brands that do similar products. Alpha H does an exfoliator, which is the same. It's rice powder and you do use it the exact same way. Make a paste, rub it in. The issue I have with this one is that it doesn't melt down enough. So the little granules don't dissolve enough for it to be a smooth paste to then rub on your face. So you put water in, keep mixing keep mixing it turns into a paste then you massage it on your face and you can feel the little pieces 
rubbing on your face so you can feel that it is physically exfoliating you. I didn't like that but I also tried to overcome that by adding more water but then what you end up doing is just washing it all off. So the whole faff of doing all of that I didn't enjoy it. Not for every day, not for twice a day cleansing. The actual product itself um, was quite drying. I found it was quite drying. I'm not the biggest fan of that cleanser. Cleansers usually are fine for me for the most part, but I find that because this was a powder like that, it just was quite drying on my face. My face, my face felt tight after I'd finished cleansing. So the next step is the Lotus Enzyme Exfoliator. And like I said, it is 8% glycolic acid and 2% fruit AHAs. This is a lot of exfoliation. If you were someone who just bought these products and didn't really read the instructions because you think it's a three step skincare routine like it is marketed, you would go ahead and use the first step, the second step, which is this, and then the third step. And the reason I say that as well is because they have a little dot system. So there's one dot on there to tell you that that's your first step. There's another dot on there to show, there's two dots on there to show you that that's your second step and then three to show you that's your third so if you really didn't have any idea about skincare you would absolutely go ahead and use this as your second step every day twice a day you shouldn't be exfoliating this harshly every day however if you went with the instructions you read the instructions you're like i'll use that two three times a week i just didn't like it I did not like it. However, if you were to use this separately as part of a different skincare routine with other products, maybe a cleanser that's not so drying, um, it might be okay. It might really be okay because the ingredients in here are really nice and they are exfoliating, but I would not use this as part of this skincare routine. Okay, so moving on to the cream. I have combination skin and my skin usually tolerates a lot. However, my skin can get very congested with, with creams and moisturizers that are too heavy. So for example, I use sort of gel cream textures or I use um, lotion kind of textures. And in winter, I go for a little bit heavier. So I thought, okay, it's winter. This is quite a heavy texture like that. So I thought, okay, this will be nice to use um, just to lock in the moisture and just to make sure my skin doesn't dry out. So I used this after the other two steps and every day when I was using the normal cleanser, the, um, the rice cleanser, I used this afterwards. The texture itself, when I put it on my hand and I go to rub it in, it kind of just sits there. Can you see that? So even on my face, it does the same thing. It doesn't absorb in. And that's not necessarily the worst thing. It means it is forming like an occlusive layer where it's stopping moisture from escaping from your skin, which is lovely. I do enjoy that. But this ended up congesting my skin quite badly. So I used it every day for the first few days and then I actually couldn't use it anymore what, because my skin completely broke out in tiny white heads everywhere because it was just way too heavy for my skin. And I was really sad about that because I wanted to love this because it's got amazing ingredients. So it's got snow mushroom, glycerin, squalane. Um, it's also got hyaluronic acid and it's also got centella, which is great for anti-inflammation, but it just didn't work for me. I just think that if you have an oilier skin or if your skin gets congested easily or if you cannot tolerate heavier, thicker consistencies of moisturiser, I would steer clear of this. Um, but if you have quite dry skin, dehydrated skin, you, you're probably fine with this. Um, but it has really, really nice ingredients. So it probably is nice, just not for me. But yeah, I spent my hard earned coins on this, on these products, and I just feel like I can't really use them. So yeah, that's how I feel about the human race skincare. Um, I do hope to see more things from this line and it will be interesting to see how it grows and how, it's, how it changes. Um, but thank you so much for watching this review. If you enjoyed it, leave me a little thumbs up, a little comment. Um, don't forget to follow my social media because I post on them more regularly. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.